Quick speech. Thank you very much for this. This is great. Uh, humanist society. Um, it's it's right. We are the fastest growing. The fastest. We're not religions. We're the fastest growing uh, thought process group. <laughs> I had a good word for it backstage. We are the fastest growing uh, sensibility in the world. Now, I can't prove that, but everyone keeps saying Catholics, Catholicism is the fastest growing religion, which cannot be. <laughs> which cannot be if the Pope's getting out. <laughs> well, I, there's always this thing on science that um, religious people say that science is just full of theories. And I say, but you know, religion is just full of stories. And they're not even theories. <laughs> they're just stories. In which case, Lord of the Rings is as valid as a religion <laughs> on this basis. But uh, for me, religion is, um, is philosophies. They're philosophies, they're ideas with mysticism on top. Take off the mysticism, and he spoke from out of a tree. The burning bush one. What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> I said this in my last show. You know, if you're going to get people to do things, send some angels down with guitars, do some stuff, do a tap dance, some fucking thing to get the guys, get Moses, whatever, who I've just heard is apparently a myth. But anyway, to get the guys going out, you, you do that, you send some of your, your big guys down, yeah? You know, the guys with the things and the trumpets and whatever, or God or the brother of God or what, something. You don't send a bush down <laughs> and send it on fire. What, on fire? No. I, I would believe, I would listen to a, a non-on fire bush. <laughs> More, wouldn't you? And on fire bush, you go, you can't even deal with just staying not on fire. Why should I listen to you? You're on fire. <laughs> if there is a God, you know, who created God? So that's the thing. So I think it's, I think it's just us. I'm, I was an agnostic. You might well be an agnostic. It's a good place to sit in the agnostic, just in case there is an end of days. <laughs> and then you can go, hi, hi, yes. <laughs> No, always agnostic, yes. <laughs> Never quite sure, but uh, no, an athe who said I was an atheist? No, no. Steve, don't know Steve, no, I don't know. No, I was never, I was never sure, never quite sure. And now, now I'm sure. <laughs> Why? Because you turned up. And if God came down to earth as well, we'd expect him to speak in a certain way. We'd expect him to speak with a deep voice. We want God to have, if there is one, to have a deep sort of, I am here, I have returned from a far, far galaxy where I was. <laughs> if a God came down and said, I have returned, I will be miles away, now I'm here. And you, you do not go to church as much as you used to, <laughs> except in the middle of America where you go far too much to church. <laughs> like it's some sort of drug. But now that I am back, will you come back to church? We will not come back to church. And why not? Because your voice is too high. <laughs> well, what's that got to do with it? I don't know, you've made us, if you've made us, you've made us not trust the high voice people. <laughs> we won't trust high voice people. We will not follow the high voice people into battle. Come on! <laughs> so why does humanism or atheism matter to you and, and how does it matter? Um, it's common sense which drives me more, which leads to humanism. I don't sort of call myself a humanist and then do that. I kind of like people. We should call ourselves people believers. We believe in the common sense of people and we believe in the goodwill of people and do unto others do unto, uh, as you'd have them do unto you. And, and with that, we, we can do it as a positive driving forwards thing. And let's thank Eddie one more time. Thank you very much.